So before we get started and into the actual uh, videos and comparisons themselves, I just wanted to show you one thing. So this is my 950 device and I have here the box that my 950 device came in. So you can see it's pretty much standard device and, and the box is appropriately sized. Uh, this is the HP Litex 3 and as you can see this is a somewhat larger device. Um, so imagine my surprise when this box turned up. Uh, I wondered what I was getting, but it is actually the box that the HP Elite X3 comes in, so an absolutely huge box in comparison. Not really necessary, but uh, I think HP might make that a bit smaller next time around. So today we're going to look at two phones, one from Microsoft, which is the Lumia 950 device, which is actually my own device, and secondly a, a brand new device that we've got on loan from HP called the Elite X3. Uh, these are both running the Windows 10 operating system, and both are designed to work with a feature called Continuum. Continuum is designed ultimately to be able to replace your complete PC. The idea being that you just take your phone everywhere with you, you dock it, and then you can work on a large screen, keyboard and mouse, which we're going to show you later on in the presentation. So next we're going to go through the actual login on both of the two devices and also show you the quality of the camera shots taken on both. So both operate uh, something called Windows Hello, which is a feature from Microsoft which uses retina recognition. It works in any light conditions and I've used it for quite some time on my phone. It's not so good when you're walking along the street, uh, which is easier to use your pin code, but uh, it works in pretty much all other circumstances. So all I do is I look at the screen and it will then uh, log me in, uh, as you can see, uh, on, on the two devices. So if I now do the, exactly the same on the other device, so I pick up the Elite X3, it's saying looking for me, as you might be able to see on there, with the little red lights on, which is the infrared camera, and that's me now logged in as well. So that's both devices now logged in. So we're going to have a quick look at the quality of the camera images on the two devices. So first of all, if I take this device uh, here, these are shots that I took uh, in my office earlier on today. They were both in exactly the same uh, lighting conditions. So hopefully you can uh, get an idea of uh, that one there. So I'm going to I'm going to just zoom in on one one corner of of, of the image just so you can see uh, the the quality of the two images. So hopefully. Uh, once I've shown both side by side, you'll be able to determine which you think is the best camera. Uh, having played with the cameras on both and taken various shots, uh, I think I know which one is the uh, has the better the better camera lens on it. One of the cameras is a 20 megapixel camera. That's the uh, the Lumia uh, 950. The second one is is a smaller camera lens, which is uh, or uh, pixel resolution, which is uh, 16 megapixel, which is on the uh, Elite X3. But you can see that when you hold those the two phones side by side. Hopefully you get an idea of the image difference between the two. The Lumia does stand out as being the better camera to me uh, straight away, really, without uh, too much debate. So next we're going to take a quick look at the form factor on the two devices. So first of all, the Microsoft Lumia. Now those of you who know about the Lumia range will know that there is actually a version called the XL, which is actually a slightly larger one. So this, this device is actually 5.2 inches. Uh, the Elite X3 device, as you can see, is much larger at 6 inches. In fact, it's actually larger than the 950 XL, which is 5.7 inches. So you can see that the, this has been designed for a, for a mobile office worker to get more done actually on the move. And obviously with the Continuum features, which we'll show you later, how that can then transform into your PC when you get back into the office. When you look at the two side by side, there's not much in it in terms of the depth. Um, but obviously there is obviously the, the, the screen is both wider and longer than the uh, than the 950. So you're probably going to need a fairly large pocket to keep your Elite X3 in. One interesting feature of the HP Elite X3 is its ability for you to log in using the fingerprint reader on the back of the phone as well. I wondered when I saw that if that was in a bit of a strange position because obviously on things like the iPhone it's on the front where you can actually press it with your thumb. But then I thought actually when you pick a phone up when you're walking along or something like that, as I described before, it's difficult with Windows Hello. You actually put your finger right on the fingerprint sensor without having to do anything and you'll automatically be logged in. So that's something that the 950 and 950 XL devices don't feature at the moment. So next we're going to take a quick look at the quality of the video and the audio on both devices. I'm not sure how important the quality of the video particularly is, but in terms of the audio it is quite important for things like conference phone. So if you wanted to use it as a conference phone, you know, you're halfway through a phone call, you drop it on the desk and you may want to um, have other people join you in that particular call. So the quality of the speakers can be quite important. So first of all, let's look at the older device, which is the 950. So I've got a, a trailer just on here already lined up. So hopefully you can hear, the sound is actually quite loud, um, the video quality is quite good as well. So I'm just going to stop that there. 
Uh, now let's take a quick look at the HP Elite X3 and see, obviously it's a much, much larger screen, so the video is going to look a lot better on this. Um, and then the audio quality as well, hopefully you'll be able to tell us, I think is also a lot better. I rebel. So hopefully you get a bit of an idea there, I'll just stop those two on there. And as I said at the beginning, whether or not these those features are actually that relevant in terms of the quality of the video is debatable, but in terms of the audio quality, I think certainly the Elite X3, if you're in a larger room, perhaps a noisy environment, will be a lot clearer for things like using it as a conference phone. So the next feature we're going to look at is uh, probably one of the most exciting features that uh, um, the Windows 10 phone operating system has, which is uh, Continuum. The idea behind Continuum, as I explained earlier on, is that it can, it can be a device that could replace your laptop or desktop PC uh, when you're back in the office. So we're going to um, get rid of my 950 for this next demonstration, and we're going to actually dock the uh, Elite X3. So we're just going to dock the phone and show you Continuum. So phone goes into its dock like that. I also have uh, over here um, the Microsoft foldable keyboard. So I'm just going to open that up, put that on my desk and that will automatically um, Bluetooth connect to the phone and also my Surface mouse which I've also connected to the phone as well. So now you can hopefully see on the screen that I'm able to access the start menu from the phone operating system just like a normal Windows 10 PC although the features are cut down quite significantly. So I'm just going to open up Word there and I can just type in some text on my keyboard which hopefully you can see working fine there and all the normal features that you'd expect uh, for kind of the, the cut down phone operating system version of Word are there. Now obviously this isn't the full version of Microsoft Word so you can see some of the features are, are obviously not available. So in terms of closing down the application I can obviously minimise it or close the application just like I could on a normal Windows PC. I have access to my email and my calendar as you'd expect and I have access to things like photographs and videos, things like iPlayer. You will notice that some of the apps are actually greyed out on the start menu, so you can see here things like Adobe, so these are the mobile only versions that don't work and don't support Continuum, but there are a number of applications obviously that do support Continuum experience. We also have Cortana on, on here, so I can ask uh, Cortana just like I would be able to do on my phone, and she'll obviously pull together my appointments and things that I might be interested in for the day. I have the option to tile uh, the various uh, windows that might be open, in this case I've only got Word open. And obviously I have the option to run things like um, Internet Explorer. So if I just go into uh, Cortana there and type in Edge, uh, what I'll find is Microsoft Edge there, which is obviously the, uh, the web browser. And you can see there um, the, the BBC homepage, uh, which is accessible uh, just as if it's a normal PC. So I can obviously click on whatever I'm interested in. You'll see this is rendered obviously for mobile uh, because obviously this is the, the version that would normally run on a, a PC. I can also, the trailer that I was showcasing earlier on, on the two phones, I can now showcase that, uh, that sort of trailer um, appearing there on the screen. I'll just take that back a little bit, but you can get an idea of the quality of the phone and how quick the phone is. So its ability to play the video straight through uh, a nice, nice high, high resolution uh, image there. So if I just escape out of that now, it's slightly tricky because the mouse disappears and just close that particular uh, tab down. But that gives you an idea of um, the experience. Uh, some of the features like side-by-side -side applications are also not available, which I, I, I use all the time, so that would be a bit, of a, a bit of a challenge for me not having those features. But as a device which you might use occasionally instead of your, replace, your, your normal PC, it's, it's certainly a usable uh, technology. So what about the conclusions between the two devices? Well, I, I actually like both devices. Um, the, the screen and having that very large screen on the Elite X3 is actually quite nice occasionally, but would I want to carry one of these around in my pocket? Um, I'm afraid not. I think the device for me is too large. Now for a lot of people who want that larger device and the larger screen estate, this will be a perfect device. For me, this size device is probably the maximum I'd like to carry around with me. And that's mainly because I, I also have the, the Surface device. So when I'm working and I'm away on the train or planes, this is a perfect device. If I don't want the keyboard on, I can detach it. And also I use both, both of these devices for both work and personal use. So this is an ideal device as a companion device to, to my phone. And I wouldn't really replace or use perhaps the continuum features that the Elite X3 offers. Obviously the 950 device itself as well uh, does have a Microsoft dock that's available which gives you then the continuum features. 
uh, online as well, but that is, that is going to be a short-lived product. So um, Microsoft are looking to stop manufacture of the Lumia and 950 devices, as we, as we kind of know now, and we're seeing that reflected in the pricing through Microsoft Store. Uh, in fact, I think now it's around about $250 for the phone and the dock device uh, combined, which is about half what it was when it was launched just back in November last year. So for me, uh, fantastic device. HP should manufacture a smaller version of this because they're going to need to have something um, that, that will replace the normal 950 device, which has been very, very popular. Um, but for me, I would stick with my 950 for a little while to come.